Good morning, you guys, and welcome to my first What I Eat in a Day. So it is 7.40 in the morning, and I am going to start off by drinking some celery juice, and then I'm going to film a low-impact full body workout for Instagram, and then I'm going to come in and eat my first meal of the day. So I'm going to show you guys how I drink. Okay, so these are the celery sticks that I use, and I'm just going to grab literally like seven and then I'm gonna rinse them and then they're already cut so I don't really cut them and then I'll show you guys what juice are using and stuff so let me just rinse and I'll be back okay so this is the juicer I use I do have it linked on my Instagram under my Amazon highlight so oh my gosh I really need to get a tripod because filming like this just ain't working but anyways so it's gonna get really loud so I'm not gonna talk I'm kind of just gonna show you guys the juicing process. Okay, so it's basically done and I always throw a napkin under because sometimes it like leaks. This is the celery juice. I just got a little cup. Oh, by the way, I grabbed two more celery sticks just because I didn't feel like the six was enough, so I just added two more. And I drink about this much every morning. And as you guys know, I'm on Accutane, so I feel like this just helps add some moisture and hydration into my skin. Not moisture, more like hydration um, from the inside just because Accutane just does dry me out so much. So, cheers. As you can see, I have like a celery mustache. But that is how I start off my morning. I also drink water while I'm getting ready. Um, so now I'm gonna go film and I will be back to show you guys what I eat before the gym. Okay, so I just got done filming and now I'm going to eat a quick breakfast. I have a dentist appointment today at nine, which is in like 50 minutes. Um, so I didn't really plan out today's meals. I have a general basis of like what I eat to hit my macros. So I wanted to film today because today is like a busier day and I kind of wanted to show you guys how I eat in a deficit when I am like on the go and stuff. So right now I'm just making oats. Oh, here they are. So these are just old fashioned oats. I'm doing half a cup and I just put water in and I let it get all nice and warm. And then I just add a little bit of salt and cinnamon and that's it for my oatmeal. And then along with my oatmeal, oh, I lied. I'm gonna add some raspberries on top of that, um, just a few. And then I have some protein and water. This is 25 grams of protein three grams of carbs and one gram of fat. So amazing for a protein. And that is going to be the meal I eat before my dentist appointment. So it's basically my first meal of the day. And then I'm going to pack a little pre-workout snack with me. So I will show you guys that when I am done with my dentist appointment. Okay, so while my oats are cooking, I am going to drink my protein shake. And for those of you following me on Instagram, you know I chug everything. I chug my celery juice. I chug my TC1 proteins and greens. I chug my regular protein. I just like to get it down and get it done. And it's a quick and easy way to get greens in or protein. So it's my favorite thing to do. So let's chug. Okay, I did not warm that all the way. So let's give this a second round really quick you guys i'm going to show you guys my outfit it's of course all alphaly but i got these this is like the worst camera twirl ever i got these super cute new socks and i absolutely love them they're cheetah print um i got them from this little place on instagram it's called like hexy socks official or something like that they're from the uk i don't know i've seen a bunch of other like instagram girls wearing them and i was like oh my god i need these they're so freaking cute so they're absolutely perfect for the winter. They keep me just like super extra warm. So love them. Sometimes I like it when I lose control. Show you guys Luke. Don't mind my dead flowers, but every morning he just, I have to open the windows and he just like 
meows at the cars and birds and yeah, that's his morning routine. Okay, so my oats are done. And I already added in the salt and the cinnamon. They're like steaming piping hot. So that's what they look like. And oh my God, yesterday, you guys, I got home from the grocery store and I dropped my half of my berries all over the floor. I was so upset. So this is all I have left from a brand new pack. So I literally just add in a few and got my protein in and now I have my oats. So I'm gonna eat this really quick, head to my dentist appointment and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. What's up you guys? So I just left the dentist and I packed, packed, I packed a little pre-workout snack. So I'm having a banana. I just bought these yesterday and I hate when they look this fresh. Like I like when they're a little more ripe, but whatever. And then my favorite Greek yogurt of all time. It's a strawberry cheesecake light and fit. The brand is, I don't know what brand it is. I'll, I'll like link it or something. And then I just wrap a little spoon in a napkin. So I'm gonna eat this really quick and then I'll sit in my car for like 10 or 15 minutes and wait for it to kind of settle in. But, um, but I really wanted to do like a very realistic what I eat in a day, especially when I have like a busier day like this with appointments and stuff like that. Um, I have like not knocking anyone, but I have watched other eat like what I eat in a days and I feel like it's like so scripted and fake and the meals take like each like 50 years to make and I'm like do you spend the whole day just like prepping your food because ain't nobody got time for that so this is like a very realistic what I eat in a day like I'm never really hungry this early in the morning it's 10 o'clock right now so I start my day off with like smaller meals and then right now I'm gonna head into the gym and get like a really heavy lifting session in and then after the gym that is when I am like hungry and I'm super excited to show you guys those meals because that's where I get like most of like my calories, like a lot of my carbs, a lot of my proteins in. So it's like a lot of smaller meals in the morning for me just to like wake my body up and get some nutrients in it. So Greek yogurt, banana before I hit the gym. And then I also have my pre-workout that I'll take right after I eat. So I caught it gold. This is literally legal crack. I've said this so many times. This gets me go in and it also has a pump in it so i really like it the caffeine and the pump just hits so freaking hard as you can tell it's hella freaking cold it's like pouring rain i think we might get a storm that's what i heard i don't know so i'm gonna eat this mm, seriously the best flavor i've tried other flavors and the strawberry cheesecake is just my absolute fave i'm gonna eat this take my pre oh wait i forgot to show you guys this i'm also drinking my water I'm actually right on track at like, well, it's 10 and I'm at like, like 9.30ish. Um, so I drink, I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. I got this water, I got this water bottle on Amazon. So again, that's linked under Amazon link. So I'm gonna eat this as fast as I can, let it kick in and then I'm gonna head in the gym and I will show you guys post gym meal. It's like what I eat every single day after the gym. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, so I just got back from the gym and I'm weighing out everything for my post-workout meal. So this is my little scale and I'm going to do um, egg white burritos with one regular egg. So I'm going to change this to grams. I'm going to do 150 grams of egg whites, one whole egg. Oops, I did 154 on accident, but that's fine we can take it so there's my egg whites and then I'm just gonna use this lid to weigh out my cheese and this is for two burritos so I'm gonna do about 15 grams of this cheese reduced fat mozzarella cheese so that's about it right there so that's 15 grams and then I am using these La Tortilla Factory tortillas. And then I'm gonna add spinach and of course, tapatio. Okay, so now that I have everything weighed out, I'm going to add my egg. And these ones are large eggs, not extra large. I don't know if that matters, but crack that bad boy in there. And add my egg whites. 
And just to let you guys know, whenever I do eat veggies, I don't like include them in my macros because I just look at it as fuel for your body. So if I have like broccoli or Brussels sprouts or asparagus or anything, I don't include that in my macro tracking because you need micronutrients and that's what they are. So I track everything else besides veggies. So all my spatulas are dirty. I really need to run the dishwasher. So I'm eating those. And honestly, I eat burritos or breakfast sandwiches or omelets every single morning. Like those are my three go-to meals after a leg day or after any workout. This is the spray I use. It's the Pam olive oil, extra virgin olive oil actually. And these are the macros on it. And okay, so this is what the inside of my burrito looks like. That one's already rolled. So let me roll it up and I'll tell you exactly how it tastes. Okay guys, so my burritos are done. I made two and that's what the inside looks like. Mmm. It's kind of hot. It is so freaking good. I swear I eat this like three, four days out of the week. It's such a like fueling meal after a good gym sesh. So 10 out of 10, you need to try. I'm going to go take a shower and get ready for my day. And then I'll show you guys what I eat for snacks and dinner and stuff. So I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to have my second snack. So I am having some strawberries and pineapple. So right now I'm just cutting like the little green part off of my strawberries. But I have a meeting, a Zoom meeting with the TC1 crew and some of the other athletes right now. So I'm just prepping this little snack so I can munch on it while we have our little meeting. So I'm just doing like I said, strawberries and some pineapple chunks. Pineapples and strawberries are definitely my favorite fruit to snack on. So I'm just getting this ready. And then I'm also going to have some DC1 proteins and greens. Um, I usually chug these, but I'm just going to sip on them with a straw. And I'm going to do two scoops of the proteins and greens. And that is going to be my snack. So I'm already late for the meeting. I'm always late. I told you guys I need to learn too. But I need to learn time management. So my meeting's at four and it's literally four. So I'm going to go hop on that meeting really quick, eat my strawberries and pineapples, drink my proteins and greens. Obviously I need to put water in it. Um, and then I will come back on to show you guys what I'm having for dinner. So I'll check back in in a few. Okay, so lucky me, my laptop is dead. So I just threw it on the charger. So I'm just gonna jump on, talk to you guys for a few minutes while it charges up before I join my meeting. Oh my God, Luke is pulling on my charger cord. It's so freaking bad sometimes. But I got a really exciting text message from Christian Guzman today. And he sent over um, the PDF with all of the new items that are launching next Saturday, February 6th. And I'm so excited for you guys to see everything. Like I say this every single launch, but I never think they can like outdo their last launch and then they do and I'm just mind blown. So I can't wait to like start posting content. And of course I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys on YouTube. Um, so my package shipped out today. So hopefully I get it by like next week on Monday, but usually um, he sends over like a, a PDF order form and we like circle everything we want and our sizes and stuff. But this time they put the packages together. So I have no idea what's coming. Um, obviously I just sent him my sizes and he, him and like the team, Alpha Elite team put the packages together themselves. So I'm super excited to see what's coming. I hope I get some of the dad hats because you guys know I have a new obsession with hats right now. And they're coming out with four new dad hats and I literally hope I get all of them. And if I don't, then I'm personally going to buy whatever ones I don't get because I love dad hats. But okay, my computer's charged. I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that. So I'm gonna jump on this meeting and talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I know it is extremely dark, but I just got off the meeting with my TC1 team and there is an exciting, super exciting product that is gonna be launching in a few weeks to a month. I cannot spill the tea right now, but it is honestly a product that I personally have bugged TC1 for forever. Like, I'm not even kidding. I would text them like once a month, like, hey, when is this product coming out? 
and I would just bug the hell out of them. So I'm so glad they let us know that it's finally made. It's almost ready. They showed us the packaging. It's beautiful, and I'm just super excited to be able to promote it to you guys because I love promoting products that I genuinely use. I will never, like, as an influencer, you get so many like companies who hit you up, and they just want to have you promote their stuff, and... I will never promote a product that I don't 100% believe in or love or use myself because I just feel like that's super ingenuine and I always want to be super real and authentic with you guys because I follow influencers myself who I look up to and I would hate it if they were pushing products to me just to make sales. You know what I mean? So I try to only push products to you guys that I believe in and it when I push them to you guys, it doesn't even feel like pushing products to you guys. It's just letting you guys know like what products I use myself that I find helpful that you could incorporate into your daily routine that might help you as well. So just wanted to hop on and tell you guys that that meeting was super amazing. So yeah, I have two more meals to eat. So I, I don't know, I just touched my face. So I posted one yesterday and I'm going to remake it today because it was so good and I'm just going to make a few changes, but it's like a chicken and ravioli and then I'm going to eat chicken and white rice after that. So two more meals to finish up. It's really full from the fruit right now. So it's, what time is it? It's like 4.30ish right now. So I'll probably have my next meal around 5.30 and then my last meal around 7 or 7.30. And honestly, I need to check my macros. If I haven't hit one of my goals, then I'll add maybe like a protein shake in something. But this is my first what I eat in a day. And today was a really busy day. I had a lot of errands to run. Um, but like I said, I wanted to keep this video very authentic to like how I live my life and how I eat in a caloric deficit, aka how I eat for weight loss. Um, so I will do another video when I have like a slower day because for the most part, my life is really boring. Like today was just one of my more hectic days, I guess. So it was just like, I feel like I was like doing everything really fast and rushing and not showing you guys me weighing things out. So I'll definitely do like a video where I show you guys exactly how I proportion things and how I weigh things out and how I add it into my fitness pal app and all that stuff. But I just definitely wanted to a film of what I eat in a day because you guys honestly dm me all the time like can you post meals i need help with eating i need help with um getting more creative with meals so i really wanted to post this video asap because i've been promising it forever so i hope you guys enjoy it i know it's not the best i know everything was really rushed but again this is honestly kind of like a day in the life and how i freaking eat and today was rushed like i don't know why i just felt so rushed today so i'm gonna relax a little bit um, I'll hop on when I make my next meal, and yeah, it's really freaking cold right now. But I'm too lazy to get up to turn on the heater, so I might just sit here bundled up. But okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Guys, I'm back for my next meal. First off, I have to show you guys this sweater blanket thing. I mentioned earlier, it's so cold in my house right now here in Merced. It's raining like crazy, um, so I'm just like bundling up and I absolutely love this it's like so cute and it has a hood so cute but anyways for my next meal I am making chicken tenderloins I got these ones at Costco I'm only going to cook one pack but I just pulled out two because I know I'm going to use one tomorrow um because they were in the freezer and then these frozen raviolis I also got these at Costco and they are so good I had them for the first time yesterday and I couldn't believe how good they were and I'm going to throw this sauce Dave's Gourmet um, aged white cheddar alfredo the macros are really really good you probably can't see but it's 100 calories for one fourth of a cup which i per serving i use half of that so it's 50 calories um 10 grams of fat two grams of carbs and two grams of protein so honestly if you have this at your local grocery store i highly recommend i got this one at rayleigh's in merced we're extremely limited with grocery stores we literally have Rayleigh's, Save Mart, Food Max, and Food for Less. That's it. I lied. I think we have a grocery outlet. Or did that close? I don't know. I'm hoping one day we get like a Trader Joe's because I love Trader Joe's. And the closest one to me is like 45 minutes. Um, now it's like 40 minutes, but to drive 40 minutes to a grocery shop, sometimes it's just not, it's not the vibe. You know what I mean? So yesterday I just ate it like that with the pasta sauce and chicken. Time around. Today I'm going to add some spinach and some broccoli i'm um, just to add some more nutrients because i feel like i didn't get a lot of veggies in today so that's just what i'm gonna do so i'm going to go ahead 
and season my chicken really quick. So I seasoned it with garlic parsley. This is honestly my favorite chicken seasoning ever. And then just regular salt and regular pepper. I don't over season the chicken breast just because it's gonna be covered in this anyways. So I definitely just wanna give it some flavor so it's not like bland chicken. Um, so those are the three ingredients. These, you just pop them in boiling water for six to eight minutes and then they're done. Steam my broccoli. And then I'll probably add the spinach and raw. Yeah, I'll probably just do that because, or I'll add it into like the sauce when it's cooking, just so it can cook down a little bit. Um, so I'll show you guys what that meal looks like when it's all done. So let me get to it. Guys, so my chicken just got done cooking. I measured out my sauce. This is about one fourth of a cup of the sauce. And then I'm gonna weigh out my chicken. I'm doing three ounces. And I've been tracking for a week, so I kind of know how many ounces of chicken I need to eat at each meal or protein I need to eat at each meal. So like for instance, this meal, I'm gonna have three ounces. And then the meal later, I'm going to have two ounces. So I just weigh it. I'm gonna move you guys down. Don't mind the dishes, obviously I'm cooking. So this is my scale and I just throw the chicken on it. Oopsie, I forgot to change the unit. Two ounces. So 1.6, ah, these are freaking hot. Three ounces, so two little chicken tenderloins is going in my pasta and, and oh, ounces of chicken tenderloins are going in my pasta plus the sauce and then I measured out a cup of raviolis right over there so and then like I told you I don't measure my broccoli or my spinach so I just kind of throw that in um I usually do like a handful of broccoli and then a handful of spinach and then that is my meal so I will show you what it looks like when it's done okay so this is what the pasta looks like it is like steaming freaking hot and I'm just going to add my chicken on it and let me show you guys a better view. So I'm gonna eat this really quick and then it's about, it's 5.30 right now. So I'm gonna come back around 7 to 15 and I made extra chicken just because I made the whole bag. So then I'm going to measure out two ounces of that and then add white rice. And then I think I'm gonna do zucchini in my next meal. Hit all my macros, I'll double check right now. And I said a little earlier, I'm going to do a video where I show you guys like how to track your macros in the fitness pal app today i really today was just extremely busy and i just wanted to show you guys how i eat especially on a busy day um i'm excited to sh like show you guys my more creative meals as well i feel like i really just wanted to get food in today so i made like super simple easy meals like honestly my eating today was like super quick super fast like this is perfect for someone who's like on the go has a lot to do all that good stuff but there's recipe obsessed with like I make like healthy chicken roll tacos like healthy chicken tacos like I'm obsessed with tacos obviously tacos and burritos and pizza I don't know how to make a healthy pizza I need to like look up recipes online and try some out um I'm just chit chatting with you guys while my food cools down because you guys saw it was like steaming demon fire hot um so yeah I really hope you guys are enjoying this video like I said I'm sorry it's so rushed I thought I had nothing planned for today so I specifically scheduled this YouTube video to be filmed today and then stuff just started popping up like I my dentist appointment got moved to today um the TC1 scheduled that zoom meeting and then I had my and then I had to go to the gym which I go to the gym for like two two and a half hours and then I had to run some errands and like well there goes my empty day just getting filled up but again I'm glad I filmed it today because you guys get to see quick eating like fast meals so I'm pretty sure my food is okay to eat now so I'm gonna go eat it and then I'll be back in a few okay guys it is time for my last meal and I'm honestly so freaking tired I'm just gonna like force feed this meal down I'm having one cup of these white rices and then I'm using chicken from the chicken I cooked earlier and then I'm just going to saute a zucchini really quick and that is going to be my last meal I hit all my macros today which I'm super thankful for I still need to finish this much water honestly I will be satisfied if I get to like right here and I will be done finish up my last meal and then I will wrap this video up okay you guys so I am completely done with my eating today it is about 8 30 and I'm completely exhausted I'm gonna jump in the shower read and go to bed as you can see Luki is already sleeping and is so tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm definitely gonna have so many more videos. I'm gonna show you guys so many more meals. 
I don't know why it took me so long to film what I eat in a day. I feel like it was definitely like a mental thing. I thought it was way harder. I thought it was going to be way harder than it actually was. It's actually quite easy just like showing you guys what I eat throughout the day. So I'm definitely going to do another more detailed one. Again, showing you guys how to like measure everything. Um, I don't know if I want to let you guys know my macros just because my macros are going to be completely different than yours. Um... But I don't know. So I don't know how I'm going to film the next video, but I will get it together and I will film it. So I hope you guys have a beautiful week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon with another video.